Hi everyone, and welcome to Onki How To with Mike Ells. I'll be your presenter today, and today we are talking about transactional data and transactional data quality, and how we can improve that, making use of Onki features. So first off, what is transactional data? Very easy, it is data that we capture during transactions. If we talk about enterprise asset management systems, a very good example is work orders. All the data that we capture in a work order is our transactional data. Think about the work order code, the asset code, who is the requester, permit numbers, which spares have we used, the labor that we've used, the requested on date, type of work. That is all transactional data. Why is this transactional data important? Why do we want high quality transactional data? Well, we need high quality transactional data because it improves our decision making. Selecting the incorrect data when requesting new work orders. Now think of the incorrect work order importance or incorrect type of work. It can send a work order down the wrong business process and it can mean a delay for any work that we can do. Also it impacts our reporting, especially financial reporting. All the labor that have been used on the work orders, the spares that have been used, all of those add to our financial reporting and it's always important to get this right as part of our budget. It also impacts our decision making and our strategies. When do we need to replace equipment? When is it better to just do some refurbishment? Those type of things, those type of decisions are all based on transactional data, hence importance of the quality of the data. Right, so for today, we are going to look at Onki and some features that can assist us in good transactional data. Some of the features, we've got five. Defaults, conditional defaults, validations, conditional validations, and data validations. Right, within this first part of the two-part series, we will be looking at defaults and conditional defaults. Good, so for that, we will go into Onki. Right, so defaults, what do we do with defaults? Defaults are used to default certain fields to a predetermined value. Right, again, if we think about the creation of work orders, we typically want to default the work order importance to medium. Right, very easy. It means that everyone that requests work orders, it will always go to medium. It is up to the creator then to move that either to high or to low or to the planner at the planning stage to then change that. But at least we have that medium work order importance. Secondly, we are going to look at conditional defaults. So we will change a field based on the value of another field. Right, first let's have a look at defaults. Right, let's go into Anki. The example that we're going to use is that whenever we create a new work order, we need to default the work order importance code to medium. To do that, we'll go to our designer. And because it is on the create work order screen where we want to apply this default, we'll go to customize and under the global create grouping, we can go and search for work order and then under data properties, we'll go to defaults and then here we will select the actual field that we want to default to, which will be work order importance code. Right, and we said we always want to default that to medium whenever we create a new work order. Easy as that. Very simple, and then we will apply that to our profile. So let's just say we call this work order, work order medium importance. Have a look at one of our other videos where we go into more detail about managing profiles, the profile manager, making profiles defaults and those type of things. Okay, I'm gonna save that as a profile so that when we create a new work order, we can select this profile. Right, accept, and then we are going to work orders. Let's try again, work 
this. Go add a new work order and then select the profile that I've just created work order medium importance. And now you can see already under work order importance code, it is set to medium. Very nice and easy. This is the, the base functionality of, of defaults and all of the other validations and things. Okay, secondly, let's have a look at conditional defaults. So this one continues with the default theme, except now we will default a field's value based on the value that we have selected in another field. The example that we're going to look at will also be when we create a new work order and when we select the type of work as breakdown with the code BRD, then our work order importance code must default to high. In that case, if this is a, a practical example, practical world, then that will ensure that breakdown work orders will get the necessary attention that it should get and be expedited to execution due to the high importance of the work order. Right, so again, we will go back to our designer. We will select our work order create screen because that's where we want to apply the conditional default data properties we will go to the conditional default screen give it a new name uh, brd equals high just something descriptive that makes sense to us in the future right so now my condition on the expression builder you can start typing your expression it predicts what you want to do which works very very good Right, we're gonna call that BRD because that is the code that I've given to type of work code uh, breakdown as part of my master data. So if the condition, the condition is that if the type of work code equals BRD, then default my work, my work order importance code to high. Okay, easy. I'm gonna say accept. Again, we'll save this as a profile. Uh, let's call it BRD equals high. Let's accept. Again, we will go to our work order screen, create a new work order, select my profile, so it applies that conditional default. Now you see under planning, still says type of work code blank because we haven't filled in anything work or the importance code also blank we didn't fill in anything there now as soon as i let's do this quickly uh, i think there's inspection type of work yeah inspections you can see if i choose inspections it doesn't do anything with work or importance code but now if i change that to brd it automatically fills in my work order importance code right Again, your imagination is your limit to where and how you want to make use of this conditional defaults. Right, and that's it for part one of this series of transactional data. Tune in for part two, where we will look at validations, conditional validations, as well as data validations. Thanks for tuning in to Onki How To with Mike.